Well, severe weather delayed one of Chelsea's biggest events of the year. However, that nor the scorching temperatures stopped people from coming out to Chelsea Fest, the Big Kaboon. ABC 3340's Bobby Portovic gives us a recap of the event and how the city worked to keep people cool. Chelsea Fest, the Big Kaboom, is a big deal for the city. Tonight it's just a, a, a chance for us to celebrate the birth of this great country and, uh, and celebrate all living in Chelsea and welcome our neighbors in. We get, we get people from all around that come for this. The event was held in a grassy field just behind the Dairy Queen off of Highway 280. Now thousands were expected to come out, hear live music, and to buy from dozens of local vendors along with seeing the big kaboom in the sky. About 1500 bucks a minute is all I know, but it, uh, it's a big fireworks show. It's a lot of fun. But just before celebrations could even start, high winds and nearby storms delayed the event for almost an hour. It's nice and it's cool. Um, it's, it's been a little wild. Uh, you know, tents flying everywhere. The wind has kind of caused some problems and uh, brought an element of, of, you know, danger to it, I guess you could say. The good thing about the weather we've had is that it eliminated some of the heat. First responders were prepared for the hot weather. Safety was top of mind for Chelsea Fire and Rescue. By using fans like these two behind me, they helped keep crowds cool and comfortable. We prepare for the worst, so we, we have cooling fans set up all around the venue to help people cool off with uh, cool, moist air. Um, we have our fire department guys set up prepared just to take care of any kind of medical emergencies that might arise. Heat nor storms stopped people from coming out. Attendees said staying hydrated was important to their families. Very important. Don't want nobody to end up in the hospital, right? Right. Just drinking water and lemonade. My Stanley Cup. Um, yeah, I fill it up three, four times a day. In Chelsea, Bobby Portavent, ABC 3340 News. Tonight's fireworks show started an hour early due to the weather.